Hello! This is how to find values on the unit circle. You got this. Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to find the exact values of the unit circle um, of sine and cosine. So problems like these. Please make sure you have a unit circle on you, something that looks like this. So you can look up at the screen and look at your unit circle, make sure they have the angles and make sure they have the coordinates and you will be able to follow along. Let's go ahead and jump into the first question. The first question is, what is cosine of pi over 6? Remember, this is an angle, even though it doesn't look like it. It's the exact same as 30 degrees. So just keep in mind, it's just some kind of angle opening. And if you look for pi over 6 on the unit circle, we want to find the cosine value. Hopefully you remember that cosine values are the same thing as the x values in a coordinate on the unit circle. So take a look, find pi over 6, and find the x value. Hopefully you found that the x value is square root of 3 over 2. The next one is cosine of 4 pi over 3. So same idea, you want to find the x value of the coordinates where you find the angle of 4 pi over 3. So see if you can find 4 pi over 3. Did you find it? It's right here. And notice 4 pi over 3 has an x coordinate of negative 1 half. There it is right there. Now that you get the idea, let's go ahead and practice together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to have you pause the video and really think about the answers. You really need to pause this video, like really need to pause it, because you got to understand this stuff. When you understand it, you'll remember it forever. If you're just going to wait and see my answers, then there really is no point in watching this video. What I'm really going to do is I'm going to make a funny face. And when I make a funny face, try to pause it right in my funny face and really stop and think about what the answer is to these problems. So let's start with these two sine of 315 and cosine of 180. I'm going to make a funny face. See if you can find these values on the unit circle. Did you find it? Let's find sine of 315 first. So remember, sine is the second coordinate value. So when you find the angle of 315, which is right here, the second coordinate is negative square root 2 over 2. So that's going to be the value of sine 315. Cosine of 180 is the same ordeal. Notice you find the angle 180 right here. And the value, the x value, is negative 1. All right, moving on. Now that you get the idea, let's try these next examples. Try to find sine of 330 and cosine 330 on this unit circle. Remember, really try to think through this. As long as you're thinking, you're doing great. I'm going to make a funny face, try to pause the video on my funny face, and try to find the two values. <laughs> Did you get it? All right, sine of 330 is right here, and cosine of 330 is right here. So you'll have negative 1 half as your sine value and positive square root 3 over 2 as your cosine value. You should know that you are doing amazing with sine and cosine. You are here, you are present, you are focusing, and you are trying to learn, and that's what really matters. So let me show you this situation of when you have tangent. So did you know that tangent is actually a fraction of sine values divided by cosine values right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to find tangent values by just finding the sine thing and finding the cosine thing and making a fraction out of it and then simplifying it. So let's try tangent of 135. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Tangent of 135 is right here and the sine value is square root of 2 over 2 and the cosine value is negative square root 2 over 2. When you reduce that, notice it's the same thing over the same thing. 
So it's going to turn out 1, but because of this negative on the bottom, it's going to be negative 1. For tangent of 60, notice 60 degrees is right here, and the sine value is square root 3 over 2, and the cosine value is 1 half. If you remember fractions and division, hopefully you remember dividing fractions can be the same as flipping over the second fraction and turning it into a multiplication problem. So this turns into square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. So notice I flipped over 1 half. That turns into square root of 3 over 1, which is a beautiful, nice, simple number of square root 3. All right, one last one. Let's do tangent of 11 pi over 6. If you want to try this on your own, you totally can. Here's a funny face. But I'm going to show you how to do it step by step in case you need it. So tangent of 11 pi over 6. Let's see, where is that? 11 pi over 6 looks like it's right here close to 2 pi. And to find that, we need to find the sine value and the cosine value. So here is negative 1 half over square root 3 over 2. And remember, this is the top being divided by the bottom. And I'm going to make it a multiplication problem. So like this. Notice the 2's. There's a 2 on top and a 2 on bottom. So those cancel out and you get negative 1 over square root 3. Hopefully your math teacher taught you that this is unfortunately a bad answer. We never want square roots on the bottom in the denominator. So hopefully you were taught to multiply the top and bottom by square root 3. And then you'll get a more simplified answer of negative square root 3 over 3. And that's it.